Okay, good afternoon and good morning to everyone. Thank you for joining me on this Sunday, August 15th. Uh, today I'm filling in for Marnie Hernandez. We're getting caught up on Princess Cruises. Um, so as everyone uh, can see a couple links in the chat, uh, you can go to onesourcecruises.com uh, and uh, log in and make sure that you uh, click on Princess, okay? Click on Training, Princess Academy, and that'll take you over to here, okay? Uh, again, now my screen is complete. It will not show any required courses because as you can see, I did earn my certification here, um, but that's okay because uh, we still were at a staff captain rank, I believe. So we still need four elective courses to move you guys up. Um, so we'll get started with that. And you can follow along on my screen. I'll do my best to pace myself. If you get stuck for any reason, that's okay. We will wait for you at the quiz. Um, if you do not have your login information yet, make sure that you register using the supplier request form that you can find in your back office in the Travel Cafe. Okay, um, and also note a couple times I put in the chat already, the link to Marnie's uh, YouTube page and all of the previous certifications and trainings that we've done so far are here. So there's a video for just about everything. Um, if you get stuck or have questions, just let me know and I will try to help you out to the best of my ability, okay? Um, all right, so here we go. Why don't we start with, Shoreside customer service, that's 20 minutes. Uh, we'll try and get through a couple of them today and then we'll pick up next week. All right, so I'm gonna click this, Shoreside customer service. Hopefully it is about 20 minutes. Sometimes they lie and they're longer, but we'll get through what we can. And as we go through, um, Princess is very tricky. Um, so I would suggest taking pictures or screenshots of the slides um, as, as I scroll through them. Um, make sure that you take notes as well, because when we get to the quiz, I'll just give you guys a heads up now, uh, the questions will not be in order for everybody. So the questions that I'll read off of my screen won't necessarily be the ones that you see on your screen. Um, however, they will eventually come up. If on the rare occasion that you do end up with a question that I don't cover, just let us know um, at the end when we finish the quiz and we'll work as a group to help you guys through it and pick the correct answer, okay? I have a question before we get started, please. Sure, sure. Okay, uh, I don't, right now I can't get in bed. Okay. I just signed up, so. Okay. Yeah, so you have to sign up through the one source agency registry, right? Yes. So first you have to be approved by Archer. And then once you get mm -hmm. that login information, then you have to go and fill it, fill out the login information and all of that for one source. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I would have, probably have to wait in. Can you did say five to seven business days to process? Yes. Um, some people have gotten it within two business days and they have it. Um, others, it takes a full week. Um, but like I said, uh, Marnie's YouTube has all of the certification trainings that she has done. And she'll also have this video that I'm recording today. Um, so there's, you can follow along, have the answers ahead of time. And then when you finally get your login information and you have access, you can just fly through these courses, have the YouTube channel open, fast forward to the quiz, and then you'll be ahead of the game with it. Um, so you can do it that way as well. Um, we always welcome everyone to stay, whether you have access or not, just to kind of see how it goes. Um, and if you like doing the group things, you're always more than welcome to join us the next week or Marnie's next scheduled um, recording with it. Okay. All right. So let's get started. Customer service and sales tools course. Okay, click on this. Next. Okay, so how to take this course. Uh, Princess Academy, they will have these slides come up just about every course that you take as a reminder on how to take them. Um, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the course includes interactivity buttons that reveal rich detail, a menu tab in the top right up here. 
can help with course navigations. Okay, 20 minutes to review and complete the quiz. So this should be fairly short. Um, anything that has like an exclamation point or an arrow, I'm usually gonna hover over them. If I miss one, please let me know and I'll go back, okay? Because that usually has some more information on it. Okay, Excess exceptional customer service is the number one mission for Princess both at sea and ashore. We view travel advisors as our customer service partners and support this by offering consistent and trustworthy products, policies, and support. In this module, we'll focus on four critical components of delivering great customer service ashore, our cruise program, customer service teams, programs, and superior selling tools. Okay, so looks like we'll have four sections in this. Okay, the cruise program. The cruise program is a princess training and culture initiative on raising the level of customer service and hospitality we offer for our guests, providing yet another positive point of differentiation between princess cruises and its competitors. Cruise quality assurance. Our quality assurance program helps ensure our team is meeting its goals. You can participate in our cruise program by completing a quick survey after each call to tell us how we're doing. As you continue with this course, you will learn more about our shoreside service teams. We hope you see how the cruise ethic permeates everything we do and the difference it makes for you and your clients. Okay. Customer service teams. The first step in delivering great customer service is making sure that our advisor partners know who on our team is best suited to help them. Okay, so it looks like we click on the buttons here. Business Development Manager, BDM. That is an abbreviation you will see a lot for vendors, for destinations, just about everything that you do, okay? So that's an important one to remember, Business Development Manager. Your BDM can help you build sales and marketing plans, support cruise nights and consumer events, discuss group sales opportunities. Go to your BDM when you need cooperative market, marketing support or assistance or partnership program support. Okay, who is my BDM? Click here for our locator. So when you have links like this on um, courses in Princess, this will take you out of the actual course itself and open a brand new tab. Um, so you can just make note of it um, and uh, open that on your own time. I don't wanna take us out of the course and not be able to get back in because sometimes that happens. Reservations. The reservations team are active listeners, proactive in providing information on travel options and upsell possibilities and responsive to questions and concerns. Contact our reservations team when you need assistance with the following. Making and modifying reservations, applying payments to bookings, and basic customer service questions. Okay, so BDM helps you with marketing, outreach, all that. Reservations team, that's who you're going to go to for bookings if you have any questions um, or issues with that. Okay. Customer relations. Occasionally, a reservation or group's request is particularly complicated or sensitive, requiring support above and beyond the typical call. Our dedicated reservation and groups teams will gladly collect all pertinent information regarding the issue and relay it to a customer relations specialist. Customer relations can work with other internal departments to further investigate your queries. Ask to support, oh, sorry, ask to speak to a member of the customer relations team for issues requiring extra care, okay? So groups, anything that's particularly complicated, sensitive, anything like that, customer relations is where to go. Okay. Groups, although group space is reserved through Polar Online, okay, that's their booking engine, our groups team can assist with any groups your agency creates, okay? And there's a group sales course, so that's what that one means up there, okay? One source help desk. The one source department can assist you with one source, which is your training, uh, Polar Online, Princess Academy, activating or building one source accounts. They can be contacted directly through the chat feature on one source or by calling 800 544 9032. Okay, so with Princess um, and also with Cunard, uh, they offer you as much assistance as you could possibly need. Um, if you don't have the answer for your client, there's always somebody on their team that you can ask um, that will get you the information that you need. Okay, Ocean Navigators. Ocean Navigators are a team of agents and crew highly trained in medallion class. 
by calling 844-525-0942, select option one. And that's nice too, they tell you where to go on the phone line as well. You can reach an ocean navigator who can provide expert assistance regarding medallion class, including becoming ocean ready, online check-in, other questions regarding medallion class. Okay. Um, all right, post-cruise support for your clients. If your clients would like to share feedback of their recent cruise, we encourage them to email the customer relations department directly at customerrelations at princesscruises.com. They can also reach the post-cruise department by filling out the online form at princess.com under contact us by clicking customer support and information. We respond to all correspondence from our guests in the order we receive it. If your client requires immediate assistance, request uh, they please call us at 1-800-PRINCESS. Okay, so filling out post-cruise forms, uh, feedback, uh, surveys, whatever it may be, that's super important to you as a travel agent, as a travel advisor, because if they are, if your clients have a really good time, that's something you want them to share, not only with Princess, with you, with their friends, family, colleagues, that's how you get referrals. Um, but you also wanna make sure that if they don't have the best time or something goes wrong, that they let that be known. Um, so they, you definitely wanna have them let you know and you definitely wanna let them know that it's important for Princess, um, in this case in particular, to know what, what they didn't like about it. They actually do go through all of this feedback to try and improve the quality of their uh, vacations that they offer and their cruises, okay? So online tools, one source, uh, Polar Online, Academy and Training, Booking Tools, Sales Marketing, Contact Us. Once you have uh, completed your um, certification and you've passed the final test with Princess, you're gonna have access to all of this material, okay? At no extra cost to you, it's there for you. Okay, one source online tools. We recognize your time is valuable and is best spent marketing and selling rather than doing paperwork. That's why Princess has created a variety of online tools on one source to help your selling efforts and empower you to get things done. Click to learn more. Okay, click on these. So Polar Online. More agencies use Polar Online than any other system for selling Princess. The system has dozens of powerful exclusive features that reduce the time you spend on bookings, freeing up more time for you to sell. So they have full access to all fares and all departures. You can book into groups very easily. You can extend booking options online and you have full management access to all of your bookings, no matter how they were created, okay? So Polar Online really is the tool that you wanna be most familiar with if you're gonna be focusing on selling princess. Sales reports. Being able to effectively measure your sales performance is critical to improving your agency. One source sales reports gives you a complete view of how your agency is tracking with flexible revenue reports, sales tools, performance, preferred booking channels, and more. Okay, so if you wanna kind of take a peek at how you've been doing, um, especially if you're really focusing on selling princess cruises, you're gonna be the princess expert. Um, and specialist, then that's something that you might want to um, take a look at every so often. Um, I wouldn't obsess over it every single day, but you know, once a week you can pop in and kind of see how you're doing with that. Sales and marketing tools. Discover a wide variety of sales and marketing tools, including professional direct mailers, customizable emails and flyers and printed sales collateral, destination marketing materials, current campaigns and deals, deck plans and stateroom information, and itinerary flyers. Um, these are all available uh, online, digitally, of course, very easy for you to download, to access. I'm not sure, uh, and this is due to COVID, if they are actually mailing out any physical copies of any of this stuff, okay? Uh, you can always uh, contact them and send a question uh, and ask them if they're sending physical material. If not, uh, you do have full access to their digital library here with all of this stuff, okay? Answers. Our answers uh, knowledge base provides more information on a variety of topics, including departments at Princess policies and procedures. Okay, so if you have a question um, or you just know a couple keywords, you can type that in. It'll pull up uh, when you hit enter. It'll pull up everything that mentions that question or those key terms. Okay. Media library. Our online media library gives you access to high res and web ready images such as 
ships, onboard features, staterooms, landscapes, destinations, and shore excursions. These are great if you want to create a social media post. Okay. Um, you can download them, throw it into Canva, um, and kind of create your own flyer, create your own advertisement um, with that. And these are specific princess images. So you, as a travel agent, once you earn your certificate, again, you're free to use them at your leisure. Okay. Travel agent locator. The travel agency locator is a tool listed under contact us at princess.com and allows visitors to search their area for princess registered agencies. As a special reward for Princess Academy, agencies with Commodore status receive priority placement within the travel agency locator. Okay, so Commodore status, you get that after you pass the final test um, with these courses. Uh, and once you have that, obviously you are gonna be bumped up over anyone else who doesn't have Commodore status, okay? So important to follow through, go all the way through, finish the courses, earn your certification. Um, it really does make a difference, it really does. All right, we're here to help you. Princess Academy offers a convenient electronic feedback form for advisors to use that's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Travel advisors can contact us with their questions or concerns regarding Princess Academy courses, Princess Academy rewards, including the graduation cruise course, uh, Academy Commodore cert certificates, okay? And it says down here, all right, so open seven days a week for it. Academy team will respond within one business day, not including holidays or weekends, okay? So just like a regular kind of nine to five thing, um, if you're gonna ask them a question on Sunday, they might not get back to you Monday, they'll probably get back to you Tuesday, okay? If you ask a question on Friday night, they'll probably get back to you Monday morning. Okay, Cruise Personalizer. This website is the guest's online portal to their confirmed cruise. After signing on with their name and date of birth, the guests may view updated booking details and take advantage of the following innovative features. View complete pre-cruise information, make special requests like dietary needs or designate special occasions, and pre-reserve shore excursions and Lotus Spa appointments, okay? So once you have your client booked, you want to make sure that you're giving them every tool that you possibly can for them to be cruise ready even before uh, they embark on their vacation. And Princess helps you do that. Princess not only offers our guests exceptional customer service through our longstanding cruise program, but we are also available to assist our dedicated travel advisor partners with many of your business needs. In addition, our vast array of convenient online tools helps you create and manage your bookings, plan your marketing campaigns, and answer many of the questions that may arise as you and your clients plan and prepare for their cruise vacations. Okay, wow, that was really quick. I think that is the shortest course I've ever done on a cruise line. <laughs> okay, so you've completed the Princess Cruises Shore Side Customer Service course material. You are now able to access powerful online tools, understand who to contact with questions, and how to leverage both of these to grow your business. Okay, so up next should be some sort of quiz, maybe, possibly. Okay. Our blank knowledge base provides in more information on a variety of topics, including departments at Princess policies and procedures. Is it answers, one source, or cruise? And you guys, you can unmute yourselves. You can throw the answer in the chat. Um, when we get to the cruises, kind of whoever has the answer, um, we take that, okay? Anyone remember? I think it was answers. One source. Let's check in the chat here. Maybe. Okay, let's see if I'm right. Yes. Okay. So our answers knowledge base provides more information on a variety, blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right. What is the name of the Princess Training and Culture Initiative that focuses on raising the level of customer service and hospitality we offer our travel advisors and guests? Was it Cruise, Princess Support, or Princess Best? Princess Support. Princess Support? Yes. Okay. No, I don't know. Oh, yep, okay. 
<laughs> All right, it looks, like, it looks like we have a couple votes for support in the chat, so we'll go with that one. Okay. Oh no, okay, well, we get to try again. It's Cruz. Cruz, okay, let's see. Yay, thank you for the save on that one. Appreciate it. Okay, Cruz. Okay. okay. So, and again, um, with these, once we get the answer correct, write it down, make a note, uh, take a screenshot, take a picture. And if they're not coming up in the same order, just wait, hopefully they will cycle through. Okay. What is the name of the system available to travel advisors that features powerful exclusive features that reduces the time spent on management of bookings? Was it Princess Academy, Reservation Support, or Polar Online? I think that one was Polar Online. I think so too. Yes. Okay, so the system that will help you uh, reduce the amount of time you actually spend on making the booking and trying to figure it all that out, that is Polar Online, okay? Okay, what are some of the online tools you can find on OneSource? Check all that apply. So Polar Online, obviously. There's a travel agent locator, I remember reading that. Sales and marketing tools. Sales report. Sales reports. Okay. Media library. Media library. And I do believe answers as well. Okay. Okay. So everything but cloud based storage. Okay. Let's see. Yes. Yay. Good job, guys. <coughs> Which of the below are some of the ways our reservations department can assist you? Check all that apply. Answer customer service questions, apply payment to bookings, open a group, make and modify reservations. Everything? Okay. Oh, nope. Okay, one of them doesn't, one of them doesn't work. We gotta... To bookings, no? Okay. Because we could do that, no? Uh, no, we don't take payments, or do we? Uh, I we think gotta, we just have to take the first payment or this and the down payment, and then later on they just have to do it on their own, or do we keep taking those payments? Because I mean, okay. I'm on my second or third day. Okay. Um, so, so, all right, let me check the chat. It looks like chat is saying one, two, and four. Okay, so that's answer customer service questions, apply payments to bookings, and make and modify reservations. Okay, so it looks like the reservation department will do everything but open a group. So, uh, but to answer your question about payments and everything, um, they, they will always make the payment through you um, with oh. Princess. With that because you're the travel agent um you want to make sure all of that is going through if you just leave it up to the client not saying that the client is incapable of doing it on their own but you just want to make sure that you're you're handling everything for them because that's what you do that's that's why you're a travel agent okay okay okay, okay. i'm sorry i just woke up to uh, put my alarm to wake up for this it's okay no problem all right so good job, everyone. Thank you to those of you in the chat who corrected me. Appreciate that. Okay. What are some of the ways your business development manager can help you? Check all that apply. Cooperative marketing, support consumer events, build sales and marketing plans, help with group sales opportunities. I believe it's all of them. All of them? I believe okay. so. Okay. Let's go to the chat and see. Yep. Okay. We have a consensus in the chat, says all of them. All right. Hey, good job, guys. Paying much more attention than I am. Okay. Customer relations can work with other internal departments at Princess to further investigate your queries regarding complicated or sensitive topics. True or false? Mm. True. 
Okay. Yep. We have agreement in the chat there. Good job, guys. All right. What are some of the tools available to your clients? Check all that apply. Post cruise consumer relations email or online form. Pre cruise, uh, sorry, cruise personalizer and online menu. I know cruise personalizer and I think post cruise. I don't remember the online menu. Yeah, I don't remember that one either. Okay, so let's go with these two. Hey, okay, cool, good. Good guess, Courtney. All right. So post cruise and cruise personalizer for tools that are available to your clients. Okay, and again, once you can book your clients, uh, with princess and everything and make sure that they have access. You wanna make sure you give them everything you possibly can um, to make sure, and you always wanna follow up with them uh, to make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to do to get crews ready. Okay. For questions or concerns regarding academy courses and programs, what tool is available to you 24 seven? The form included in each course or the feedback form available on one source? Feedback. Yeah. Yep, good job. Okay, oh, a lot of questions for such a short course. Uh, Princess Quality Assurance Program helps ensure our teams are meeting their customer service goals. True or false? I think that's true. Because quality assurance, that means you're checking on people to make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to do. Yes, good job. Okay, yay, 100%. Does anyone have a question that I did not read through? So I have an issue, like my quiz went blank. Like I've answered like maybe three questions and then the fourth one I was gonna answer, uh -huh. it's just a white screen and it says like submit and I try to click submit and it says you must answer the question and I can't even see the question. Oh, okay. Um, I would suggest closing out. Um, you should, uh, with what Princess does, wherever you close out of a course, if you don't finish it, it should, when you go back in, pick up right where you left off. Okay. See if that works. And you only have you only have one time to take the quiz. Yes. Okay. With that, and that's something that um, yeah, once Marnie started doing time. Princess, um, uh, I didn't start with her. I caught up on YouTube first, and that's why I keep pushing her YouTube channel. It's extremely helpful. Um, you still have to click through every slide. You still have to watch videos if they prompt you to watch a video, um, but you'll already have the answers um, since Marty already already did it before. Um, as you're getting caught up with everything, and it's it's a big it's a big big help because um, then you pass on your first time and <clears throat> you don't have to worry about uh, failing or anything. I think if you do fail, it does give you another chance to pass. Um, but most courses, if you get a seventy percent, you're good. Um, they'll put you through. Yeah, definitely. So that's why you said take uh, pictures of your slides. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely do that while you're going through it with us in the group um, or if you're doing it on your own and you don't have Marnie's YouTube channel playing. Um, but if you are, if you are going to go catch up on your own or move forward on your own, um, definitely take the pictures um, and definitely make sure you have Marnie's YouTube playing um, at the same time, because like I said, you'll, you'll have the answers will come up right there um, with it. So you can just go through it at your own pace, you know, fast forward the video to the quiz portion, and then you're, you're golden. You're good to go. Um, yeah, right now I'm taking advantage because I'm not working because mm -hmm. I'm on leave. Uh, 
because once I go back to work, it's going to be impossible. Right. No, absolutely. I completely understand that. I start teaching next week on Monday on the 23rd. Um, we're back in the classroom. So <laughs> um, I have a ton of certifications that I've done just to make sure that they're done before real life kicks in again. Um, you're be- really knowledgeable too. Like, you, I can tell that you're an educator. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate that. Oh, what was the answer me- for the... Mm-hmm. Um, the reservations department one because they flipped the order that the question that the answers are in okay could you read it to me again please uh so the question Ooh. is which of the which of the below are some of the ways reservations department can assist you check all that apply apply payments to bookings answer customer service questions making modify reservation was it and then um, open a group was open the group the one that wasn't one thing that they can do Right. Yeah. It's, it's everything but the group. Okay. Yes. That one. And was it the our answer knowledge base provides more information? Yes, answers. All right, I'm caught up. So we're good to move on now, if, unless anybody else has uh, questions they need answers to. Okay, all, all right. right, let's go. All right, good. Looks like we're ready to move on. Oh, and a couple teachers or former teachers. Awesome, that's great. Anyone teach college? Nope, I'm by myself there. Okay. <laughs> I did for grad school, a couple of classes. Oh, okay. Kind of like student teaching? Or yeah, assistant like, teaching? Oh, yeah, GA teaching type. Okay. Yep. Life teaching, you look so young. You look almost like the students there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I actually just had a birthday last week, so I'm very happy to hear oh, I still look young. Oh, <laughs> happy birthday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's move on. I can't believe that course was so short. You'll see what I mean as we go through some of them. <laughs> All right, so we'll just continue moving down. Um, so we'll do move on to Princess Plus, okay? And fingers crossed this will be another short one and we can keep going here. Which one is that one? Princess Plus. Should be if it loads. <laughs> yes. Okay. Is that one another elective? Uh, yes, on my page. Um, that is something else with Princess as well. Um, you can check your required courses if you don't find it under elective. Yeah, because it's not on their elective. It says that I have completely all the necessary elective courses to a shift to the next level. Okay, okay. So if you are just starting, um, I believe the first round is three required courses. You have more required courses than you do elective courses. And then once you do the required or the electives, it'll lock you out until you complete the other ones. Um, So, What we can do is just follow along, um, take pictures of the slides or take pictures of the questions and answers at the end if you don't wanna take all the pictures of the slides. Um, And then whenever you can get back into a course or uh, follow along with us, you can do that. Um, And again, if it just seems to be that you don't have the access that I have on my screen, I still encourage you to stay on and follow along with us as a group. 
um, because you can always help with the questions and answers at the end. Um, and then you can get caught up with Marnie's YouTube um, during the rest of the week and then join us next Sunday. Um, okay. And hopefully everyone's in and around the same part. Okay. Princess, Princess is tricky. These cruise lines are tricky. They seem to know when groups of us are on doing the training and they try to uh, change things up a bit here. Okay. Drinks, Wi-Fi, and gratitudes. Gratuity, sorry, gratitude. I, yeah, <laughs> it's been a bit of a day. I'm on the East Coast here. It's already two o'clock in the afternoon. All right, Princess Plus. By the end of this course, you will be able to understand and explain to your clients all the value of, included in, with Princess Plus, present to your clients why booking Princess Plus is the best value ever, and understand and describe the different fare options for each type of guest. Okay, all right. Princess announces a new fare. Princess Plus, our best value ever. Princess Plus will be available on cruises three days or longer in all cruise tours. Okay, that's probably a test question. So available on cruises that are three days or longer in all cruise tours. This fare includes drinks, Wi-Fi, and gratuities. Note that these perks are not available during the land portion of a cruise tour. Princess also offers three other fare levels with refundable and non-refundable deposit options with and without Princess Plus perks to help you find the promotion that best suits your client. This course will walk you through the fare options available to your clients, okay? So we're gonna learn all about the different fares here and which level they are, okay? All right, let's first walk through Princess Plus, our best value ever. Princess Plus perks, premier beverage package, Unlimited Wi-Fi, gratuities included, and all three Princess Plus perks are included and cannot be doubled up on or swapped out for other perks and amenities, okay? So beverage package, Wi-Fi, gratuities, they're included, you can't double up on them or swap them out for other things, okay? All right. Okay. All this for just 40 bucks per day. Let's see. Uh, Princess Plus includes drinks, Wi-Fi, and gratuities. That is a value of $95 per person per day. The fare is available in all categories, including third and fourth guests, even fifths in sky suites and family suites. This package is capacity controlled and subject to inventory availability. Okay. So for nine, normally $95 a day, you get the Princess uh, Plus, it drops it down to 40 bucks a day, okay? So drinks alone, 70 bucks a day, unlimited Wi-Fi, 10 bucks a day, gratuities, 14, $15 a day, okay? This also means more commission for you. Premier beverage package Wi-Fi and gratuities are included in the fair. You earn more commission, so you and your clients win, okay? Any kind of upsell uh, for your client is also an upsell for you when you're um, selling cruises or really any kind of vacation as well, um, any sort of travel with that, okay? So always, always remember that. Um, don't feel like you're pushing it on them or anything like that. Usually when you're upselling, uh, there is a, there's a win-win situation. Your client usually gets the stuff they want for a little bit of a lower cost and you get more commission on it. Okay, premier beverage package, cocktails, wine, beer, coffee, tea, fountain, sodas, and more. For all guests in the stateroom, applies for guests of legal drinking age. Okay, so they will abide by that, okay? Uh, premier coffee and soda package for minors, competitive beverage offers not as comprehensive, and bar gratuity is included, okay? So again, getting the Princess Plus, this is gonna take care of all those minor details that sometimes you might forget about um, when you're talking to clients about cruises and what's included and what's not. Princess Plus, it's gonna cover a good chunk of them for you um, and for your client. Okay, premier beverage package, non-alcoholic offerings. Even if your clients don't drink alcohol, the beverage package offers uh, an incredible selection and substantial value. So you get specialty coffee, hot and cold espresso-based drinks, specialty tea drinks, smoothies, fountain sodas, milkshakes, if they're available, uh, non-alcoholic contact cocktails by mixologist Rob Floyd, uh, bottled water, fresh juices, Red Bull energy drinks, frappes at coffee, uh, coffee and cones. Additional benefit of 25, 25 off discount on excluded items. One liter bottles of water, canned soda, and bottled juices. Okay, so you do get a lot. You, this is always something to emphasize too. Um, 
I'm not a drinker myself. Um, so this would be something even for me on a cruise, if I took it, this would be something that I would definitely be interested in. Okay. Unlimited Wi-Fi for all guests in a stateroom, one device per guest. Okay. One device per guest. That doesn't mean your phone, your laptop, and your um, iPad all at the same time. But one device per guest. Unlimited Wi-Fi for Medallion Net and Princess Connect enabled ships. 5,000 minute package on ships with minute-based connectivity. Okay. So 5,000 minutes, it doesn't seem like a lot, but you're on a cruise. You that's don't it. want that's them. That's their oldest. You don't want them obsessed with uh, being online all the time, okay? And it does not apply to land portion of cruise That's tours, face. okay? So cruise tours, um, for those of you that are new and just starting, there is a course on that, and um, it's basically cruise plus land tour. You can combine them Ooh. into an offer, okay? But just make sure you emphasize that unlimited Wi-Fi is um, not included in the land portion. Okay, gratuity is included. Full gratuity is paid to our crew on your behalf. So this applies for all guests in a stateroom. It's based on standard prepaid gratuity amount. It does not include gratuities hey, added to. Okay. Everyone, do me a favor real quick and just mute yourselves, please. Let's see where is that coming from? Okay, I think I got it. Perfect. Oops, that just disappeared. Hold on a second. Where did it go? Come back. Nope. There we go. Sorry, guys. Okay. So it's for all guests in a stateroom based on standard pre prepaid gratuity amount. It doesn't include gratuities added to bar charges, um, specialty dining rooms, and spa services. Okay. So bar charges, especially dining room spa services, they're not included. Okay. There we go. More reasons why it's our best value ever. So what Princess Plus offers, no hidden fees, offer applies to all stateroom types, okay? So from the cheapest to the most expensive stateroom, simple one choice offer, simple promo code selection, premier beverage package and unlimited Wi-Fi, Offer available in all categories and includes third, fourth, fifth berths. Okay, berths means beds. What other cruise lines offer? Additional charge for drinks, including tips. Offers uh, Offer varies with choice of stateroom type. Offer typically has multiple variations and substitutions, multiple promo codes for travel advisors to sort through to find what their client wants. Some offer lower tier drink package or minute-based Wi-Fi. Many don't offer perks to upper berths. Okay, so clearly here, just laid out next to one another, you can see why this is something that you wanna to promote to any client that is going to be booking uh, with you for a princess cruise, okay? Much simpler for your end, you get more commission, the client gets exactly what they want, okay? All right, so Princess Plus can be combined with standard groups, cruise sales and casino discounts, Geo-targeted and recipient-only offers and Captain Circle launch savings. Note, offer is capacity control, not transferable, okay? So you have cruise sales, standard groups, Captain Circle savings, recipient-only air promotions, flash casino discounts, interline, and travel advisor. Hey, that's us. We get that, okay? We can add Princess Plus to our thing, okay? That's huge. All right. Deposit, refundable deposit fares, Shown on princess.com and Polar are the best buy. Uh, Polar Best Buy are refundable. Deposits are required for guests one and two only, except on world and grand voyages where required for third and fourth. Non refundable options are also available. Okay, so refundable, this is in light blue, kind of highlighted here. This is probably something we want to remember. Okay, voyage length three to six days. $100, suites are 200, seven to 12 days. This is for the deposit, okay? Per person for a lower berth, 200, 400 for suites, 13 days or longer, uh, 400, 800, world and grand voyages are the same 30%, okay? So it looks like whatever is minus the percentages for world and grand voyages uh, for the length of your cruise, 
uh, for inside ocean view balcony and mini suites, 100, 200, 400, and then it doubles when you uh, talk about suites, okay? Okay, four pricing options are available. With Princess Plus amenities, uh, so deal number one, it's a refundable deposit. Deal number two, uh, it's non-refundable, okay? What's that? Let's see if I just click, this is probably gonna take me somewhere. Oh, no, it's not, cool, okay. So option number one, <clears throat> guests who prefer value adds and are willing to pay slightly more for the flexibility of a refundable, refundable deposit, okay? So again, about double there, interior balcony. So deal number two, which is not refundable. Okay, this is non-refundable. Looks like it's gonna be the best uh, value here. Okay, with the amenities. So again, about double there. So without Princess Plus amenities, let's see, third one. Okay, here we go. Yeah, about double. And then with refundable, a little more than double. Okay. All right. Let's see, quickly let just do the review. Okay. All right. General promotion information applies to all four pricing options. Uh, only available to residents of the 50 United States, Canada, Puerto Rico, Mexico, Bermuda, and the District of Columbia. Okay. Offers are available in all categories subject to inventory control and are not transferable. Other restrictions apply, okay? Subject to inventory control and not transferable. Combinable with standard groups, cruise sales, casino discounts, and Captain Circle launch savings when available. So you can combine it with a lot of stuff. Promotion is subject to capacity control and is not transferable. And it's not applicable for cruises one or two days in length, okay? Remember, it has to be three days or longer. Okay, click on the circles below for more details. Yeah. Okay, question. Will bookings made under Princess Plus combined with groups for TCs and group amenities? Yes. Okay. What if Princess Plus rates are higher than group contract? A group protect a group protect promotion code ZZP has been built to provide the beverage package Wi-Fi and gratuities for group contracts that were taken out with a lower group rate than under Princess Plus. Okay, so there's something built in um, that will looks like it'll kick in with that. And what if Princess Plus rates are lower than group contract? Bookings made under the Princess Plus rates will combine with the group contract to provide the offer to guests booked under this promotion along with the group amenities and those bookings will count, uh, will count towards TCs. Okay. All right. Princess Plus perks can be added at a modest charge to existing bookings. Okay, so you can add, if the booking was already made, you can add it to it later. Offer codes make it easy, lower cost than they would pay if purchased a la carte. Offer codes are to be used if your guest is already booked under a promotion and you can add it using Polar Online, Sabre or Amadeus. Okay, Polar Online is the one really like they said uh, before in the other course that Princess is the best for. Okay, so here you go. You have some sample um, examples of the coupon codes, okay. You have the amenities, uh, specifically what they are. So if you want all three, makes sense, best three. There you go, $40 per, uh, per day per person with it. And it goes down from there, okay? So D stands for drinks, or G stands for gr gratuities, and W is the Wi-Fi, okay? So you see how that breaks down. And again, if you want all three, it's just gonna say the number three. Okay. So what you want to suggest, uh, upgrades and upsell, encourage a higher cabin category at the same fare with the Princess Plus value adds. You keep your commission and your client gets more in value. Again, win-win situation. You want to caution, uh, refaring will result in your client losing amenities not covered by Princess Plus. So onboard credits, air credits, stateroom upgrades, things like that, okay? 
So you just want to be careful. You want to make that suggestion. You want to caution uh, refaring uh, when you do it because they are going to give up stuff like this, okay? But they get a bunch of other stuff in return. So kind of just depends on what your client really wants out of it, okay? Self-service, add amenity code while removing special service or add to existing fare or refare from old promo to Princess Plus. So that can be applied in Polar, Saber, or Amadeus. You don't have to call Princess to do it. If you get stuck, you can always call them, okay? And that's what this is over here. Call Princess when your client wants to refare. They have an air discount applied to their booking. Client wants to retain existing flights. Um, and also, if you have any concern, any question, um, you can always ask Princess. Uh, but also with uh, Evolution and Archer, we're, we're a group for a reason, we're a family for a reason. You can ask your sponsor if they've done Princess before and they can walk you through the booking process, uh, any changes that need to be made. You can ask any of your higher team members um, that have uh, done Princess. You can always ask your top, uh, top people in the company like Marnie and Charles Lee. Um, for it, uh, for help, uh, they're they're absolutely great. And if you need that extra assistance, if you need that extra one on one, they're more than happy to work something out with you. Okay, all right. So upsell amenity options charges for sales launch prior to Princess Plus. Okay, so it looks like the upselling uh, when you have sales that were done or launched prior to Princess Plus. This, you know, you're probably dealing with. Uh, codes that look something like this, it tells you what the sale is, what the sale offer is, OBC is onboard credit, uh, the upsell items, okay, you have the prices listed here, and the new offer code of what that's going to be, okay? These steps will help you add an offer code to an existing booking, such as best three, best two DG, et cetera. After entering your login credentials, click on launch Polar online. Okay, so I click on this. Okay, so you go here when you're ready to make your booking, log in, launch Polar online, then proceed by clicking on manage booking and enter the booking number, okay? So manage booking, enter the booking number, you hit search. Okay. The next step is to click on booking information at the bottom of the page. Next, you will enter the offer code and click submit. After you click submit, you will see at the top of the page that your booking record has been updated. Okay. So booking information should be at the bottom of the page. Click on that. And so add or delete offer code. Okay. You're going to add it. Then you would hit submit. And then it should show that your booking number has been updated and that should be reflected, okay? All right. Price options at a glance, Princess Plus overview and frequently asked questions, refare guidelines, web banners, promotional video and voyage, voyage exclusion list. Uh, you can find all of that in regards to Princess Plus on onesourcecruises.com, okay? So again, they give you as much information as they possibly can at your fingertips uh, so that you can do the best you can on your own. But if you get stuck or you have issues or anything, uh, any other problems come up, they're always available for assistance. Okay, click to learn more. Number one, question. If a guest booked best sale ever, is Princess Plus a better deal? No, Princess Plus is the same great value as best sale ever. Due to, due to the success of Best Sale Ever, we, now, we have now introduced Princess Plus with drinks, Wi-Fi, and gratuities, our best value ever, okay? So Best Sale Ever, Princess Plus, not a better deal. It's the same thing. Right. What if a guest doesn't drink alcohol? Answer, there are no substitutions for the premier beverage package. However, this package offers many non-alcoholic drinks, including fountain sodas, fresh juices, specialty coffees and teas, frappes, smoothies, milkshakes, Red Bull energy drinks, bottled water, etc. Also, there is a pricing option if a guest does not want any of these amenities and wants rate only. Okay, so they have their options. 
This is why it's very, very important to qualify your client. Um, because if you don't pull out, if you don't get your client to say exactly what they want, you could run into some trouble that you have to go back and correct later. Okay. How many devices per guest for Wi-Fi are provided? It's one device per guest in a stateroom. Okay. So you have four people in a cabin, in a stateroom. They all want to use their cell phones. One device per guest in a stateroom, four cell phones. That's it. Not the laptop and the iPad and everything else everyone's going to bring with them. But again, like I said, it's a cruise. You want them experiencing the ship and any land tours that they do. You don't want them online the whole time. Can a guest choose to have two of the three amenities? No, all three amenities are part of the sale. There is a pricing option if a guest wants a rate only and no amenities. Okay, so all three come. You can't just say, I only want the drinks or I only want the Wi-Fi. All three are coming with it, okay? <clears throat> Do all guests in the cabin need to have the same offer? Guests one and two must have the same offer. If the first and second guests have Princess Plus, our best value ever, it will be defaulted to guests three and four. Guests three and four can opt out of this package by calling Princess to have it removed. Okay, so one and two have to have the same offer. It's defaulted to three and four, and guests three and four can opt out. Okay. What if rates for best sale ever are higher than an agent's group contract rates? There will be a group rate protect promotions bill. Promo ZZP will be used for premier beverage package Wi-Fi and gratuities. <coughs> Is there any difference to the Wi-Fi benefits of a guest booked with platinum and elite benefits who get this? No impact. Guests receive, receiving this offer will enjoy unlimited Wi-Fi benefits, okay? So there's no impact, there's no difference. Right. What if a guest booked under a prior promotion wants the amenities that are part of Princess Plus? Fares from prior promotions could be higher or lower than Princess Plus. Travel partners can use a coupon code to apply the amenities, drinks, Wi-Fi, and gratuities to an existing booking. Okay, and we saw um, in the previous screen how to do that. And again, it's pretty self-explanatory when going in, you have all of the information available at your fingertips, but if you get stuck, you can always ask for assistance. Okay, was that it? One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, yes. Okay. Why is Princess Plus our best value ever? Premier beverage package with gratuities, unlimited Wi-Fi, full gratuities paid to our crew on your behalf, all destinations, all cruises, three days and longer, all stateroom categories, including third, fourth, fifth, and, and fifth guests, okay? So you really overall get a good deal for it. Okay, you have completed the princess course material. You should now be able to understand and explain to your clients all the value included with Princess Plus, present to your clients why booking Princess Plus is the best value ever, and understand and describe the different fare options for each type of guest. All right, let's see if it goes right to the quiz. No, okay, next page. There we go. All right. What if your client doesn't drink alcoholic beverages? Princess Plus is still a great value, even without alcoholic drinks. They can choose specialty dining. There are many non-alcoholic options. They should start drinking them. <laughs> I guess it depends on the client. Um, I think it's, it's still a great value and there are non-alcoholic options, right? I think it's those two. Yes, that sounds about right. Okay, let's go with that. Yes, woohoo, all right. Moving on. How many devices per guest for Wi-Fi are provided? Two, as long as it's a phone and laptop only, unlimited, one device per guest and a stateroom can be used, everyone in your stateroom plus your neighbor's stateroom. <laughs> if I was paying for someone else's Wi-Fi, I would really have a problem with that. <laughs> one device. One device, yeah. Even if I knew the people in the next state room would be pay for your own Wi-Fi. 
All right, good job. All right, one device per guest in a stateroom. All right. When we say gratuities are included, that means you still pay them, but not for spa or dining. Your stateroom gratuities are included in the fare. We raise the fare cost to cover them. You don't pay them and the crew gets nothing. Mean. I know. That's not a nice one. <laughs> I think it's the, your stateroom gratuities are included in the fare. But I think yeah, too. The second one. Yeah. That sounds right. Yay. Good job. All right. We're moving pretty good through this. Bookings made under Princess Plus cannot be combined with groups for TCs and groups um, and group amenities. True or false? I thought they could be. I thought it, I think that was false. I think that's false too. False. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Can your client pick two of the three Princess Plus perks? Yes, and you can choose OBC instead. Yes, it's mix and match. Yes, you can swap one for a future cruise credit instead. No, all three are part of the promotion. That's the last answer. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. And we have consensus in the chat. Perfect. Good job. We're moving through it. Okay. Princess offers options for guests who don't want amenities, but want the price. I think that was true. I think so too. Yep. All right. We've got some agreement there in the chat. Submit. Yes. All right. Awesome. Trying not to get too excited here. Yay. Okay. No, now I'm excited. We got hundred percent again. Good job guys. You never know with these quizzes. Sometimes they throw things at you and you, your perfect score goes away. Awesome. Anyone have any questions that weren't covered? No. Nope. No? Awesome. All right. So I'm going to hit continue and then close out. All right. Ooh. Sorry, I, I'm Hamilton obsessed. <laughs> that's why that's my background. Okay. <clears throat> da, da, da. Okay. Well, that one was kind of dry. Um, how about we skip down to Hawaii, Mexico, and California? Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. All right, Vicki, no problem. Like I said, this is being recorded. So uh, Marnie will have this video and you can catch up later on her YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us, appreciate it. All right, so we're all good with Hawaii, Mexico and California? I am. All right, here we're going to Hawaii, Mexico and California. And we'll see how long, well, am I? <laughs> I don't know, it's not loading. There we go. Uh, so we'll see how long this one takes us. And uh, because somebody is going to use Marnie's login information at three o'clock. So I do have to end it a little bit before then, but if we can get through this one, that would be great. Um, and again, it just, the idea is to keep moving forward every week um, that we do it until everyone's ready to take the final test. And then we'll see how that goes with it. Okay, let me check the chat. Okay, good. And we still have 10 people. So we're doing really good this week. Awesome. All right, looks like we have a video first, maybe. No, it lied to me. Okay. All right. And sometimes when you see this little um, I, um, it's just emphasizing that all the information is considered correct at date of publishing. So some of it, um, most, most of this uh, cruise line has been updated, um, either 2019 or 2020, some courses with it. Um, and if there are any updates, you usually get an email or a prompt when you log back in um, 
that will say, hey, you have, you know, here's this new information or here's this new course that you have to take um, or any updates to anything. Um, so it will let you know that, um, uh, you know, if there's anything else that you need to do. I don't know about the cruise lines if they lock your benefits until you complete the updates. I will say that Disney does that. Um, so when you complete your Disney certification, make sure you stay up to date with that. Don't ignore the emails that they send you um, because you won't be able to access your benefits. Um, you'll still have them, you earn them, but they'll hold them until you complete whatever update is needed. Um, like I said, I'm not sure about the cruise lines, um, but I can look into that for you guys later. All right, so we are on the West Coast. Here we go. Okay, so now you guys can see what I mean, how to take this course, tells you where everything is. Um, make sure you click on your arrows, anything else that pops up for that, okay? And always you can bookmark your progress in the course by simply exiting out of your browser. So when you exit out, um, if you go back in, it should pick up right where you left off with it. Okay. All right, let Princess take your clients right to the heart of captivating ports in Hawaii Mexico and along the California coast so they can uncover new wonders to explore. By the end of this course, you will be able to identify and market to clients who are most likely to travel to Hawaii, Mexico, or the California coast, present to your clients the reasons why cruising is a great way to see Hawaii, Mexico, or the California coast, explain how Princess enhances the experience of these destinations on board ship, and introduce your client to additional options that will make their vacation even better. Okay. There we go, maybe, yes, okay. Princess Medallion Class. Your clients can get more vacation out of their vacation with Princess Medallion Class powered by the Ocean Medallion. They'll enjoy a personalized effortless vacation so they can do more of what they love. So Ocean Medallion, okay. Your clients will receive their own complimentary personalized Ocean Medallion right there. A disc the size of a quarter that they'll carry throughout their cruise and enables their medallion class experience. Their ocean medallion is the color that reflects their captain circle loyalty level and has their name, ship, and sail date laser etched onto it. They can carry or wear it the way that suits them best. Lanyard, wristband, pendant, or clip. While the device may look like an accessory, it's what enables a more seamless and carefree holiday experience. Medallion Net Wi-Fi, onboard princess medallion class ships. Your clients can enjoy Medallion Net, the best Wi-Fi at sea, delivering land-like connectivity that lets them stream their favorite shows, movies, music, and sports. Medallion Net helps them stay connected to the internet everywhere on board. They can also post photos, text loved ones back home, and video chat. Thank you. Uh, yes, Max, that is Marnie's YouTube channel. Give me one second. Sorry, guys. I'll post that right here. Whoops. Sorry about that. Didn't post the whole link. There you go. Okay. Back to it. Board the ship even faster. Your clients can start their holiday even sooner with expedited boarding on, oh, sorry, expedited boarding on medallion class ships. They can get ocean ready and upload travel documents before they leave so they can board even faster. So Princess is really throwing all this technology at you to make it as easy and seamless as possible. Um, and I'm sure this is an emphasis for them now with COVID and everything, the more you can do on your own to get ready for your cruise, um, and the more they can do to make everything as contactless and touchless as possible, that's going to be very, very important to share with your clients. On demand, Ocean Now enables delivery of drinks, snacks, sunscreen, and even goggles wherever the guest is located on board. All your client needs to order their favorite beverage is their smartphone and Ocean Medallion, which means more time relaxing and enjoying the ship. Okay. World of Opportunities. Princess Medallion class ships unlock other ways for your clients to enjoy their holiday, including point-to-point -point wayfinding throughout the ship, keyless stateroom entry, seamless payments on board, new interactive family-friendly games and experiences, 
wager on portals around the ship or take the fun of the casino wherever they please, popular travel series on their smartphone and stateroom TV. Okay, so really with medallion class, that's um, so convenient and probably something that they are pushing right now, um, obviously in a post COVID world to get back to get back to cruising. Okay. From the West Coast, Princess Cruises offers itineraries to Hawaii, Mexico, and the California coast. With convenient round trip departures from Los Angeles, San Francisco, Vancouver, or Seattle, your clients can relax for one to 28 days on vacations traveling to some of the most beautiful places on earth. I think we all could go for a month long cruise at this point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Accolades, Princess continues to be recognized for itinerary design, dining, and onboard experience. So best cruise line itineraries, best cruises to see Hawaii, top cruise line Mexican Riviera, best cruise line weekend getaway. Okay, lots, lots of awards. Okay, click on the buttons below to learn more. Festivals of the world. Experience the world's great celebrations. There's nothing like a princess party to bring people together. Our festivals of the world host onboard events that celebrate timeless traditions from nearly every corner of the globe. Parties and dancing, lively music and folkloric performances, enriching activities, theme movies and specialty shopping are just some of the ways our festivals of the world come to life. From Mexico's Day of the Dead to Hawaii's King Kamehameha, festivals of the world are gala events your clients won't want to miss. Okay, and there is little asterisk here. So it's available on select sailings. Okay. If your client's interested in that, you want to make sure that you're narrowing down your search um, to make sure you're giving them the best options and making sure that the sailing that they want is the one that has festivals of the world. Okay. Encounters with discovery at sea. To give a deeper understanding of the destinations we visit, Princess Cruises is inviting a variety of knowledgeable and fascinating individuals to share their experiences on board. The program is part of our Discovery at Sea partnership with Discovery, and its enriching events feature regional destination specialists as well as naturalists and experts in their fields. Whatever the interest, guests will encounter fresh insights into our world and its cultures and gain fresh perspectives that will help them come back new. And dining. Our, our dining brings the flavors of the region on board. Princess has received many accolades for our dining options. More importantly, the dining program invites guests to enjoy regionally inspired menu items as well as personal faves, all freshly prepared with vibrant local flavors. On board in the dining rooms and buffet, guests can choose to sample the tropical flavors of Hawaii, the zesty cuisine of Mexico, and wine from the vineyards of California while sailing in these regions. Okay, menu items can vary by sailing and are subject to change. Okay. More Shore. Our More Shore program features late night departures, 9 p.m. or later, or overnight stays in select ports. Princess carefully crafts our itineraries to give your clients more opportunities to experience the color, culture, and flavors of the region by day and by night. Look for the More Shore symbol within the itineraries. Okay, More Shore up here, um, usually going to be bright red highlighted, so it'll let you know. Okay, little quiz. Which of the below festivals of the world can guests participate in during their cruise? Day of the Dead during select Mexico sailings, Celtic festivals for all West Coast departures, King Kamehameha festival on select Hawaii sailings. I'm gonna go Hawaii and Mexico because I didn't read anything about Celtic festivals. That's what I think too. Yeah. And Celtic is Ireland and Scotland. So that's, other side of the world. Yay, correct. Okay, so King, Ke King Kamehameha for Hawaii and Day of the Dead for Mexico. Okay, top three reasons to visit Hawaii, volcanoes, wild and wildlife and nature, and Hawaiian culture. Okay, so volcanoes, obviously. Wildlife and nature, uh, whales, best time to see them is winter. So the winter months, that's when the whales are migrating south. And then Hawaiian culture. All right, Hawaii by the numbers. So four ships, three departure ports, 24 departures, 
four Hawaiian islands, five South Pacific islands. Okay. So you have for Hawaii, you have uh, Kauai, uh, Honolulu here is on Oahu, Maui, and the big island of Hawaii. Okay. Over here, we have Samoa and American Samoa. We have Bora Bora, Moria, Tahiti in uh, French Polynesia. Okay. So Hawaii for princess doesn't just mean Hawaii. You can also um, get some other islands in the South Pacific as well. Okay. Discerning rechargers, career driven travelers who crave an escape from the work week. They don't have the responsibility of young children, so their cruising experience is centered more on relaxation and rejuvenation. Average age is 65 years. 67% of guests have cruised with Princess. 46% of guests sailing to Hawaii are from California and British Columbia. It is best to promote this destination in January to May for fall sailings and June to November for spring sailings, okay? That's something important to note sometimes in the quizzes um, at the end of each course uh, for destinations, they'll ask you when you wanna promote, uh, when you should promote them, okay? So January to May for the fall and June to November for the spring. Okay, itinerary sample for Hawaii, 15, 16 day round trip from four ports, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Vancouver, and Seattle, okay? Click on the map. All right, so you can see uh, an example here from LA. All right, out to looks like the big island first, then up and around, and then back home. Port spotlight. In Hilo, your clients can explore spectacular Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. They can stroll the Akatsuka, I am so sorry for this pronunciation. Um, if you watch Marnie's uh, training videos on Hawaii, you will see all of us butcher the Hawaiian language. Um, Akatsuka Orchid Garden, home to a variety of orchids and a prime example of why Hilo is called the flower capital of the world. Okay, so pretty cool spot uh, on, that, on that itinerary there. Okay. From which cities does Princess offer round trip cruising to Hawaii? Seattle, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Vancouver. I think it was all of them. I believe it was all four. Yeah, because it was two uh, down south and then two up north, right? Yeah. Very good, okay. All right. Which best describes Hawaii guest? discerning rechargers, average age 65 years, returning princess guests, first time cruisers who are experienced travelers. 65 for sure. Okay, definitely this one. Discerning rechargers. Yeah. I believe uh, returning princess guests. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was those three. Let's see. Yep, good job, guys. Awesome. Okay, now on to Mexico. Top three reasons to visit Mexico. Fiesta and flavor, culture and history, fun and adventure. Okay, fun and adventure, culture, history, and fiesta and flavor. All right, Mexico by the numbers. Eight destinations, 34 departures, nine overnight calls in Cabo San Lucas, five ships, four itineraries, two departure ports, okay? So it looks like we're departing from San Fran and Los Angeles for Mexico, okay? You can see we're coming all the way down here. What's that Baja Peninsula, I believe, okay? So good selection there of places to visit. Learning family. Parents who want to share new experiences and adventures with their children. Rather than needing a romantic getaway for two, these parents prefer to explore exotic destinations with their children at their side. The average age is 57 years, 58% of guests have cruised with Princess, and over half of our Mexico guests are from the West Coast. It is best to promote this destination in January to May for fall and June to November for spring. Okay. 
So Mexico looks like on average, it's all about the family um, exploration, okay? All right, itinerary sample for Mexico. Round trip from Los Angeles or San Francisco. Every sailing visits, every sailing visits Cabo San Lucas plus two or three other festive ports, including Puerto Vallarta, Mazalan. I, I do not speak Spanish. I took French in high school, so I apologize. Uh, La Paz, Loreto, and Manzanillo. Okay. Manzanillo. All right. So we have a map there. All right. So example here is a round trip from LA. I so see you come down one, two, three, and then back up. Okay. Port spotlight. Let's see. All right, your clients can soar over the foothills of Mazatlan on a day-long canopy adventure, a truly thrilling sports and ecotourism experience. They'll move across 12 platforms and embark on a hike among blue agave. They'll wind down with a snack and a sample of Los Asuna tequila at the famed distillery. So going, is that, that's probably a zip line thing, right? If they're talking about going through the canopies, the tree canopies, right? That would be, I think that's a zip lining thing. Okay. All right, which ports does Princess visit in Mexico? So every, everyone goes to Cabo San Lucas. I remember that. Puerto Vallarta. Okay. And okay, okay. Was La sorry, Paz? No. no, take a uh, Manson out. I'm looking Wait. at the I took screenshots. So give me one second. Sure. I took screenshot too. There were six names on the list on the picture, and oh, that's right. I chose the six names and I it came up incorrect. Huh. It shows Which, on the screenshots the six different ports as Loreto, Las, Las Paz, Cabo San Lucas, Puerto Vallarta, uh, Manzanillo, and uh, Mazatlan. Yeah, because I definitely know it wasn't Acapulco and Ensenada. Loreto's there as well, but that's on the picture. Right. But I chose those six and it said it was incorrect. Huh. And Acapulco and Ensenada were not on the picture. So I don't understand. Okay. Let's but see. but I still it still let me go on. It just said it was incorrect. Oh, okay. Okay. So this must not count as part of the final quiz then, right? No. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me take Loretto off and see what that does. No, nope. okay, still wrong. So um, in that case where the answers, and this is why it's important to take screenshots or notes as you go along, um, there are instances like this where it happens where the answers that are supposed to be correct are not correct. Um, with that, you can always let Princess know that things seem to be off, um, but as long as it doesn't make us fail, I think we're okay <laughs> to move forward with that, okay. Which best describe guests who have an affinity for a cruise to Mexico? Average age 65, first time cruisers from the West Coast. Average age 57, returning princess guests, learning families. The bottom average three. Average age 57, yeah. Okay, so age 57, average, returning princess guests, and learning families. Correct. Okay. All right, yay, back on track. See, sometimes when we get questions wrong, it's not really our fault. It's, it's something in the program. So yeah, that was funny, that one. with it. it was weird. Okay, top three reasons to visit the California coast. Food and wine, scenic coastline, and marine mammals. You can ask anyone that's been on with me. Obviously, food and wine is my top choice for any sort of travel, <laughs> minus the wine. Okay, here we go. California coast by the numbers, 13 destinations, 29 departures, nine more shore ports. Okay, that's nine of them, that's a lot. Uh, eight ships, 
seven itineraries and four departure ports. Okay, so it looks like everything from, looks at Ensenada, Mexico down there, San Diego, Long Beach, Catalina Island, Los Angeles, Santa Barbara, Monterey, San Francisco, <coughs> excuse me. I think that's Astoria, Washington, I think. Seattle, Vancouver, Victoria, and some other thing up here. I cannot read that. It's too blurry on my screen. But yeah. Story is in Oregon. Oh, in Oregon. Okay. Thank you. It was like Nassanimo up there, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right Nassanimo. Okay. So, re really good options here. All right. Adventurous explorers hire income travelers with flexibility to design their ideal cruise. Adventurous explorers are either retired or employed part time, which gives them a more flexible schedule. They possess a genuine curiosity about the world that drives them to try new things and learn about distant cultures. Average age is about 57. 56% of guests have cruised with Princess. 54% uh, of guests on California Coast Cruises have sailed to Alaska on Princess. It is best to promote this destination in January to May for fall sailings and October to February for spring sailings. Okay, so this one's a little bit of a different promo time um, compared to Hawaii and Mexico. All right. All right, itinerary sample for the California coast. Seven to 10 day round trip, more ashore in San Francisco, San Diego, Los Angeles, Seattle, Van Victoria, Vancouver, and Astoria. Overnights in San Francisco on classic California coast itineraries. Okay, so we'll take a look at the map. All right, so from San Fran, down here looks like you hit San Diego, then Santa Barbara, Los Angeles, and Sonata, and then back up. Cool, cool, cool. All right, and then the port spotlight, what do we have here? Santa Barbara is a feast for the senses. This culinary rich city has the best to offer on a foodie adventure designed to incorporate the city's historical and cultural highlights while showcasing its spectacular gastronomic offerings, including lunch at a renowned Mexican restaurant and a wine tasting in the lush Santa Yez Valley. What are the primary reasons that guests cruise on the California coast? Marine mammals, scenic coastline, weather, food and wine. Obviously food and wine, because like I said, that's what I'm going to remember. Marine um, mammals. The mammals, and was it the coastline? I think it was the coastline. Okay, I think it was those three. Yes, awesome, good job. So mammals, coastline, and food and wine. Which best describe California coast guests? Cruisers who had previously visited Alaska, first time cruisers from the West Coast, returning princess guests, adventurous explorers, average age 57. Average age 57, mm -hmm. guests who have cruised with princess and guests on California coast cruise that have sailed Alaska princess. Okay. Looks like everything but first-time uh, cruisers, right? Click off the adventurous explorers. Not no, it, it's adventurous explorers too. Okay, it is. So everything yeah. but first time. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Yep. Okay, good job, teamwork. See, that's Marnie. Marnie was right when I started doing these with her a couple months ago. I wasn't sure about it, but working in a group is definitely. <laughs> Definitely a plus. Awesome, good job guys. Okay, top three reasons to take a getaway cruise. Relaxation, special occasion, and your trying princess, looks like. Okay. I wonder what a getaway cruise is. Maybe a short one or something? Discerning rechargers, career-driven travelers without the responsibility of young children. These travelers crave an escape from the demands of the work week. Their cruising experience is centered more on relaxation and rejuvenation. Average age is 49 years. This destination can be promoted fairly close to sailing within one to three months of departure for quick getaways and six to 12 months ahead for special occasion planning. Okay. Hmm. 
All right, itinerary sample for a West Coast getaway. One to five day West Coast getaways. Even when they don't have time for a longer vacation, your clients can enjoy all of the amenities of a princess ship during a short break. So let's take a look at the map. All right, so San Fran to San Diego and Sonata and then back up. Okay, so um, shorter cruises. Okay. Port Spotlight. An Epicurean tour through Ensenada's bold, defining flavors is the backdrop of this tour. Visitors will bite into street tacos laden with vibrant vegetables, bask in harbor views as they savor local seafood, and taste the Mediterranean's influence on Mexican fare. It includes five different stops with sips to match the meal. I think this would be one I should look into taking with all the food. All right, what are some of the reasons that clients book a getaway cruise? They wanna try princess, celebrate a special occasion, relaxation, or explore exotic ports. I know it was try princess, and they said something about a special occasion. Relaxation. Relaxation? Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. So everything but exploring exotic ports. Okay. So relax, celebrate, and to try out princess. Okay. Hawaii, Mexico, and California coast add-ons and sales tools. What is an add-on? <clears throat> add-ons enhance your client's experience in a region, whether they are touring a city on a shore excursion or staying at a world-class hotel before or after their cruise. Cruise plus hotel packages. Hotel packages extend your client's stay on land before and after their cruise so they can enjoy the ports of embarkation and disembarkation at their leisure. Shore excursions. From sightseeing to nature tours to off the beaten path and adventures and more, your clients can experience the best of every port they visit on our award-winning shore excursion program. Easy Air. Booking your client's air has never been easier. Check out our competitive airfare pricing, including flexible fare options and automatic enrollment in the Princess Late Arrival Protection Program. Hmm. Okay. Okay, sample shore excursions. Click on each tab to view a sample shore excursion for that port. So let's look at Honolulu. Monarchs and missionaries, Hawaii's royal history. Your clients can marvel at the opulence and grandeur of Hawaii's last reigning monarchs with a tour of the royal residence as they walk through the private suites of the exquisite Iolani Palace, a national historic landmark. At the Hawaiian Mission House's historic site and archives, they'll visit three restored houses and learn about the impact of the missionaries on the Hawaiian monarchy. Just seeing. Okay, awesome. Thank you for watching the chat, guys. Appreciate that. All right, Cabo San Lucas. High Sierra Zipline Adventure. Guests can hang on tight as they fly through the canyons on this ultimate eco adventure zipline tour of Baja's UNESCO protected Sierra Range. They'll test their nerves on hanging bridges, repel impressive rock walls, and soar high above spectacular canyons and valleys as they take in the breathtaking beauty of this unspoiled territory. Awesome. Monterey. Monterey Aquarium and Carmel, Car Carmel Mission. Guests can enjoy the marine life and human history of California with two famous attractions, the Monterey Bay Aquarium and the beautiful Carmel Mission. In a perfect day on California's central coast, it includes a drive through picturesque Monterey past Canary, Canary Row to the Monter Monterey Aquarium. Then guests will visit to the Carmel Mission featuring lush gardens and relics from the 1800s in the church museums. Okay. And Puerto Vallarta, Eco Safari Off-Road Adventure. Guests will be driven through crystal clear mountain streams that have carved deep gorges into the rugged Sierra Madre Mountains. They experience the lush jungle up close as the expert guide points out the fascinating flora and fauna that exists just out of sight beneath the canopy. They will see traditional villages and learn about the age old culture they cherish and preserve. Domestic beverages are provided and lunch will be served at a beautiful secluded venue next to the beach. 
And that sounds fun. Okay. Cruise Plus Hotel Packages. Cruise Plus Hotel Packages may be added to the embarkation or disembarkation ports of the itinerary, including Los Angeles, San Francisco, Seattle, Sydney, and Vancouver. Okay. Benefits of Cruise Plus. Cruise Plus Hotel Packages offer numerous benefits, including convenience for you and your clients. Princess handles both the hotel and cruise arrangements, making travel a seamless experience. Peace of mind, Princess selects quality hotels in desirable locations, and all details are taken care of for the guest. Princess's hotel packages include meet and greet, baggage handling, transfers, and the service of a princess representative. Okay, so these are a really, really great upsell um, to get your clients, um, especially with embarkation, to make sure that they're going to be on time um, for their departure. Um, if you throw one on at the beginning of their cruise. Okay. Great. Groups. Princess's group program is flexible and robust, offering numerous features that allow you to customize your groups. Here are just a few of the advantages of our groups program. There's no risk. There's advantage pricing, unparalleled amenity program, a coupon book worth over $900, and a tour conductor. Okay, click below for more details on our group program. Great. Allocation of just 10 lower berths qualifies for group rates. So that's 10 beds. Uh, that would be five rooms. Okay. Group allowance of eight per month across any mix of ships or trades gives greater flexibility. Advantage pricing up to a two category upgrade compared to launch fares. No deposit required for up to 16 beds. That's eight rooms. Uh, TCs earned for every 16 sailed lower berth guests booked on qualifying promotions to six amenity points. Amenity points allow you to add value and personalize the group. Cruise sales help promote your group by offering a reduced deposit and an onboard coupon booklet valued at over $900. And for group shore excursion revenue opportunities, please call the phone number there or email group shore excursions at princesscruises.com. Okay. All right, Hawaii, Mexico, and California Coast brochure, comprehensive brochure featuring all Hawaii, Mexico, and California Coast cruises, sample shore excursions, ship features, deck plans, and stateroom descriptions included in this brochure. This and other destination-specific collateral are available in the destination marketing tools section of one source. <coughs> Excuse me, again, we're still um, dealing with COVID-19, um, even though it's, they're calling it post-pandemic. So all of this information is available to you digitally for download. Um, you can reach out to Princess to see if they will mail you physical copies. Um, but if they say no, then the reason is because of the pandemic, okay? With that, but digitally, I think that's the best way to go. You can um, control exactly how many uh, you decide to print out later, or you can download it. Uh, take it to Staples or an Office Max, something like that, and have them do all the printing uh, for you and get uh, all of your marketing material together. Okay. All right. What are some of the shore excursions your clients can enjoy in this region? Select all that apply. Enjoy a lobster bake in Houston. Experience a high Sierra zipline adventure in Cabo San Lucas. Visit the Monterey Aquarium and Carmel Mission. Learn about monarchs and missionaries in Honolulu. Okay, so we did not go to Houston, Texas. So correct. I'm going to say <laughs> California, Mexico, and Hawaii. Okay. That's one way to do it. Yeah. All right. Yep, correct. All right, so everything but Houston. All right, congrats. You've completed the Princess Cruises Hawaii, Mexico, and California Coast course material. You should now be able to identify and market to clients who are most likely to travel to Hawaii, Mexico, or the California coast. Present to your clients the reasons why cruising is a great way to see these places. Explain how Princess enhances the experience of these destinations on board ship and introduce your client to additional options that will make their vacation even better. All right. Oh, okay, quiz time. Here we go. And we still have eight people, awesome. So this will be the last course for the day because it's just about three o'clock now. So I wanna get through this um, and then turn over Marnie's uh, login information to the next person that needs it. 
All right. When is it best to promote Hawaii, Mexico, and California coast fall sailings? February to October, October to February, January to May, or June to November? January to May. January to May. Okay. Awesome. Yay. Okay. How does Princess bring the region on board? Check all that apply. Encounters. All three. All three. All three. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so festivals, <laughs> festivals yeah. of the world, world award-winning dining, and encounters with discovery at sea. Okay. Yay. All right, two for two. We're going strong. That was really? it. That was it? That was oh, because it. of the other quizzes. The other quizzes oh, throughout. Oh, okay. So the other That's ones That's why throughout. the score is lower than 91% because okay. that one that we, that we, that we had missed. right, but they marked it as wrong. Right, right. Okay. Yay, so we got everything. That is the strangest quiz I've ever seen in all of these courses that I've taken. Okay, well, good for us. We all passed. There we go. So, okay, so click next so that your score is recorded. All right, so it looks like that was it. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. So obviously my page looks different um, than everyone else's, but as you saw, as you complete the electives courses and, and the required courses as well, each course that you complete will then disappear. So you only have the ones left that you didn't complete. Okay. So it's easy for you um, to kind of keep track of that. And I'm just going to show you here. See if I go in history. <clears throat> okay. So you can see I started Princess back in mid July. Okay. And it shows the courses that I took in order to complete each ranking. So for those of you who are new, you're in the process of getting your first officer rank, okay? And then you see it goes up from there, staff captain, captain, and commodore, okay? So once you complete everything, you'll then be prompted. Let me see if I can go back here. It might not show up, but we'll see. Okay, so if when you get to the end, uh, like myself, and you have no more required courses to take and you've met all your elective requirements, what is gonna happen is there's going to be one that pops up between elective and refresher. And that one's gonna say something like final test or Commodore test, something like that. Um, and that's the one that will generate, it's 50 random questions. And you go ahead, you take that. So keep your notes handy. Um, you can also go back under history here and you see there's a PDF option. Once you complete a course, you have the PDF of it. So you can print that out, you can download it, whatever you wanna do, keep that handy. Um, because uh, here you can see graduation course, final exam. You're gonna need that um, because it's 50 random generated questions and they can come from anywhere and anything. So every detail is important. Some of the questions on there will be repetitive. So you'll remember them from having done them before. Others you may have never seen before. Okay. So it's important to keep those PDFs handy. And it's also just good for you to have if your client has a specific question about something. Okay. And then back to dashboard real quick. All right, so then once you have everything, you'll have your Commodore status, you'll have your certificate to download, and then they actually just a couple weeks ago um, opened up the graduation course sailings again. So because of COVID, this was shut down, you couldn't cash in on your free graduation cruise as a travel advisor, but now you can. And some of them, I uh, believe it's just for 2021 are open. I don't know if 2022 is open just yet. Um, but they provide you a link that you can follow to complete the booking process um, if you're just ready to go. Um, if there's any refresher courses or updates, they'll pop up down here, okay, with that. And oh, this is important too, before we get off, before I stop recording, I wanna make sure if you have any problem with courses loading or if you go through a course, you take the quiz, but it doesn't, <coughs> excuse me, it doesn't disappear from your list, so it's acting like you never took it. Go into course function issues here. It's under princess, okay? Open a Chrome browser, okay? 
follow this link. You can either click on the link, uh, copy paste it or type it in manually. Change the drop down selection to only highlight default or uh, from default or disabled to enabled. Okay. So if you have any issue, I believe Marnie has gone over it before in other Princess Cruises um, training videos that she has on her YouTube. Um, if you run into any questions or concerns or issues, um, just uh, make sure that you try that first, because sometimes it is a technical thing with them. Um, if you get stuck, feel free to reach out to myself or Marnie or anyone else that you may know. Um, in your group or on Facebook that uh, is with us with Evolution and Archer that has done this training. Um, so there's my full name. Okay. You can find me on Facebook, no problem. And we'll do our best to help you out with it. Um, sometimes it takes a little, a little trickery to get things to work. Okay. So I'm going to stop sharing now. So that's the end of the Princess Cruises for August 15th. Okay. I'm going to hit stop. Whoops. Nope. Wrong one. That was stop share. Okay, stop recording.